Hello, my legends. Welcome to another do it yourself. This time, we're continuing on our course of the Microsoft Office 365. I'm going to show you how to change or enable external forwarding for individual mailboxes. So, what's the scenario here? We're, we're going to use a real case here. So, I got an email a few days ago that says, hello, Matthew, see the note below. So this is a customer. Uh, employee X is moving using her blank email email address to another domain name and then the domain name. So we'll call it domain two. I'll forward another note related to things of what some of what causes something to bounce. Please help her out as needed. So basically, here's the uh, the error. Which is an information alert has been triggered. Creation or forwarding a redirect rule. You know what? I'll make this look prettier so you can see what the alert looks like. But I won't forward any like sensitive information here. So that's what it looks like. Uh, it's called a bounce back. It's very specific. It's a um, the alert, I believe, is called um, zero space 5.7.520 access is denied. Your organization, your organization does not allow external forwarding. Please contact your administrator for further assistance. So this is what the other section of it looks like. Um, we'll open it up in the editor. So that's what the other section of the email looks like. Okay. So that's what we're going to be solving today. If you've had this problem, uh, definitely we're going to want to make sure you listen in and see how we fix this. So let's get going. So we're going to solve this for a specific user. Um, I'm going to open this up in a separate email, uh, a separate portal. So what are you going to do? You're going to go to portal.office.com, okay? And you're going to sign in with the admin. So this time I'm going to do admin. There yeah, you guys can look at that. I have to pull the right information. Admin at. All right, we're going to pause that. I'm going to go reset the password. Okay, what was mere moments for you was many, many minutes for me. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm in the admin section because of the admin right here. Uh, so the next thing you need to do is, um, once you're in here, you need to go to this website. It's called, so we're going to type in a new one, protection.office.com while you're signed into your admin account. So that way it just takes you directly to where you need to go. Anti-spam, all right? Protection.office.com forward slash anti-spam. Uh, so so if you run into problem earlier, by the way, what I did, what I had to do is, um, A, I had to reset the password for the admin email address. And then as soon as I entered the new one, it asked me for all the two-factor authentication because now it's being enforced. So you have to set up an email and then verify the email. And then you have to verify via cell phone. And then you so there's a bunch of processes. So once this is done, so all we're going to do is create a policy. And we're going to create an outbound policy rule. And we're going to give your new outbound uh, spam filter a policy, a name, so and description. So I'm going to do something like um, uh, let me get the email up again. So all I'm doing now is creating a name and a description for your policy. Uh, you don't have to have a description, but you are required to have a name. I'm just using BCC for my name and the description for outbound forwarding for a specific user, I should say, for a specific mailbox. Okay, there we go. And then for users, I'm going to pull the screen away again. Sorry. Uh, and then I'm going to type in the users that are included. In this. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a website somewhere again you guys can stare at. Thanks. Okay, so uh, I'll tell you the first name, which is Nicole. And um, so all, all I'm doing on that side is just typing in the user. Uh, if they have any, if they have any groups here, you guys can do it like that. Nicole M. That's all I'm typing in. Um, 
that I don't have any groups. Um, if they have any domains, which they do, I'm going to type those in right now. So, And while I'm doing that, because I have nothing else to do, watch some bunnies eat some things because what I'm doing I can't show you because it's all sensitive information. That's what we do in the life of IT, but just to remind you, you know, we're just typing in sensitive customer data information. Um, there we go. Uh, and then um, I'm going to hit next. Okay, now this is what's important. So, uh, so all you're going to do is in the forwarding rules, uh, we're going to select next like I did, and then we're going to say, um, uh, drop down right here under forwarding rules under automatic or uh, automatic forwarding rules we're going to choose forwarding is enabled like so uh, and then review the settings so all this stuff should be set we don't want to set any limits we're not doing any other restrictions um and that's basically it we just want to say forwarding e is enabled and we're just going to hit next And review it and okay and hit create and in under 10 minutes you too can have the bypassing of that pesky pesky little notification that you've been denied to fail to send forwarded emails to whatever domain you may have so basically domain a to domain b um so if it's test.com and you wanted to go to tester.com then that's how this would be done so hopefully you understood it if you have any questions please blah, 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 please feel free to reach out to to me my name is matthew i'm with the vitech visual innovative technologies extension well actually you know what just call the main number yep and if you have any support questions written issues or just feel like reaching out go to support at vitechaz.com take care everyone and have a good day